That familiar popping sound echoing from knuckles cracked in quiet rooms or announcing the start of a pianist's performance is a strangely unifying experience. Across cultures and generations, people have engaged in the peculiar habit of cracking their knuckles, often sparking debate and raising eyebrows. For centuries, the source of the cracking sound remained a mystery, shrouded in folklore and speculation. Some believed it was the snapping of tendons or the cracking of bones. It wasn't until the mid-20th century that scientists began to unravel the secrets behind this ubiquitous sound. Using imaging technology, researchers peered inside the human body to witness the intricate mechanics of our joints in action. The popping sound, it turns out, is a symphony of physics and physiology, a testament to the remarkable capabilities of our skeletal system. To understand why our fingers crack, we must delve into the intricate world of our joints. Our knuckles are synovial joints. Synovial fluid acts as a lubricant, reducing friction and allowing smooth movement. When we bend or apply pressure, we change the pressure within the synovial cavity. This causes dissolved gases to form bubbles. The popping sound is the rapid formation of these bubbles. It takes time for the gas to re-dissolve, explaining why we can't crack the same knuckle immediately. Despite scientific evidence explaining the mechanics of knuckle cracking, numerous myths and misconceptions persist. One common myth is that cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. This claim, often repeated by well-meaning but misinformed individuals, has been debunked by numerous studies. Research has shown no correlation between knuckle cracking and the development of arthritis. Another myth suggests that knuckle cracking weakens the joints, making them more prone to injury. This too is unfounded. While excessive or forceful manipulation of any joint can lead to injury, moderate knuckle cracking has not been shown to have any negative long-term effects on joint health. Some even believe that the popping sound is caused by bones rubbing together or tendons snapping. It's important to approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism and rely on evidence-based information from reputable sources. Understanding the science behind knuckle cracking can help dispel these myths and promote informed discussions about joint health. The myth that cracking knuckles causes arthritis is perhaps the most pervasive misconception surrounding this common habit. This belief often stems from observing individuals who crack their knuckles and later develop arthritis. However, correlation does not equal causation. Numerous studies show no evidence linking knuckle cracking to arthritis. One notable study followed over 300 individuals for decades. Researchers found no difference in arthritis incidence between knuckle crackers and non-crackers. Other studies show knuckle cracking does not change joint structure or function. Knuckle cracking is simply not a risk factor for arthritis. While the act of cracking our knuckles may seem like a trivial matter, understanding the science behind it offers a valuable opportunity to delve into the broader topic of joint health. Our joints are intricate and essential structures that allow us to move, work, and engage with the world around us. Maintaining healthy joints is crucial for our overall well-being and quality of life. By understanding how our joints function and the factors that contribute to their health, we can make informed decisions about our lifestyle choices and take proactive steps to protect these vital structures. Understanding the science behind knuckle cracking can serve as a gateway to a greater appreciation for the complexity and importance of our musculoskeletal system. While we've come a long way in understanding the mechanisms of knuckle cracking, some questions remain unanswered, inviting further exploration and research. For instance, why do some individuals experience a sense of relief or increased mobility after cracking their knuckles? Some theories suggest that the cracking sound itself may provide a psychological release, while others propose that the slight increase in joint space after cracking may temporarily reduce stiffness. Another area of interest is the variability in cracking sounds. The size and shape of the joint, the viscosity of the synovial fluid, and the amount of gas present may all play a role in determining the acoustic properties of the cracking sound. By continuing to investigate the mysteries of knuckle cracking, we not only satisfy our scientific curiosity, but also gain valuable insights into the workings of our bodies and the importance of maintaining healthy joints throughout our lives.